Fairy Tales Farm. Today I'm going to show you how to make these cute little, uh, well this is an eyeglass case. I'm going to make a cosmetic case with the other one I'm working on. So I'm going to loom knit the eyeglass case and, and put the little purse frame on there. This one I did out of cotton yarn and I added a little cameo little plastic cameo I had like faux diamonds on it that you just sew on there and I got that at Michael's it was really cute for the eye class case I used the new there's a new I don't know if it's new it's new to me I just discovered it it's called flexi loom and it comes with all these pieces and this is the skinny one and you can build your own loom and it just has um, these little pieces each piece each piece has two and they all snap together I made a little loom that was about three inches by two and a half inches and it had 28 pegs and I did a little rectangle and it doesn't matter if you do circle or rectangle it's all basically going to come out the same way and that's what I used to do the eyeglass case and I used it was from Yarnology purse frame it's like $2.99 and this was the uh, 3.35 inch black plastic uh, which I, I didn't see that when I bought it, but oh well. Plastic purse frame. And I knitted for approximately eight, eight and a half inches. And I just, I tried not to cinch the bottom. I just sort of took it off and sewed it. And then I sewed it on there. And there's my eyeglass case. Really easy, really simple. On this one, we are going to be using the cosmetic bag. I'm going to be using a 4.13 inch purse frame again from Yarnology and this one is actually a metal one and I just saw right now I think I might have got the wrong one it looks like it might have a double oh it does it has a double I remember if there's some way I can take that off it's just a little metal if you haven't seen these before they're just a little you can get them at Michaels and maybe Walmart they're just little metal purse frames like the old clasp together purses and they have little areas where you can sew whatever your your fabric or whatever you happen to make. I used these on another project. Uh, we made cosmetic bags out um, and change purses out of vintage linens two years ago. I can't remember what it was now. But anyway, same, same concept. They're really nifty and you can use it for all different kinds of things. So that's what we're going to be using. Uh, I used on the cosmetic bag, I used loom this one was the five inch diameter five and a half inch diameter plastic it's not the standard standard one that comes in the set because these are the ones if you notice it has like two pegs per uh half inch opposed to the standard set like has one peg and so it's a little bit wider but i used the skinnier ones so i get a closer knit on my loom you can get these on um, Amazon probably I don't know where else but I got mine on Amazon I don't remember when I got the skinny ones but it's sort of like when you're using the metal ones to do socks it's the same kind of thing with that only it's the round plastic so that's what I use so the small one you could probably do this with the regular standard one it's just kind of you need thicker yarn or you have to make a lining because there'll be bigger holes I chose this cotton yarn from darn good yarn and this one was recycled yarn from a seller on eBay. She buys sweaters and deconstructs them. And so it was a cotton yarn. And it was a black and white sort of combination. So on this one, I illuminated for six inches on the small five and a half five inch loom I'm not going to actually teach you how to loom knit on this I'm assuming you already know how to loom knit because this is a project video so, so it's just I just use the e-wrap that's all I ever use on every project I do everybody always ask and I even have that in the little description I only use e-wrap which I learned as the stocking net stitch or stocking stocking net stitch in the 70s and it somehow is now being called e-wrap because it looks like a lowercase e and that's cool that's all I use so I have my loom knitted tube basically just like doing a a cuffless hat very simple and that's all I did here same thing and I'm going to I used two skeins because my yarn is super thin if you notice it's really thin it didn't have a weight on it because these very long sharp they're very sharp I have poked myself in all over my hand and it really hurts <laughs> But these very long, very sturdy steel 
upholstery needles. You, if you go to the upholstery section in your sewing department of whatever place you shop for that kind of thing, you'll find all kinds of nice big needles. Just because it doesn't say it's for loom knitting doesn't mean you can't use it for loom. I like the plastic ones. They're cool to have like if I have to go, you know, on a plane or something because they're not going to let you take this on a plane. But uh, I, the way I hold them, I seem to just snap them in half after a couple times. So I don't really like them. They're good for a pinch. They're good for teaching little kids how to sew. That's a tip. <laughs> uh, they're really great. Those plastic ones, really great teaching little, little uh, four, uh, three, four, five year olds how to sew. I hate them for aluminum, but if you're using that's cool. So I'm just going to take this tube off of my, the loom, just the same way you take them all, everything off of a loom, one loop at a time. Okay, when you get it off the loom, I don't want to cinch it. This is the bottom, but I do want a little bit of rounded edges, so I'm just going to do like a little bit, pull on it, and I'm just going to turn this inside out, and I'm just going to sew the bottom shut straight across. Okay, after you get done, just turn it right side out, and you can see it's sewn there. And I did one, this one was, what is it, Asian? So if you want a longer one, that's fine, but I'm making one for like a purse size one. So that is why I did it shorter. If you want a long one or a wide one, you're, you're going to be sort of constrained by how the biggest size of the purse frame that you can find. So here's our little bag. Now I'm going to sew it to the purse frame. I decided I'm just going to go ahead and sew it even though this one is made for a um, double pouch but because I don't know if I can take that I don't think I can take it off without destroying the bolt so I'm just going to go ahead and sew it on here for the sake of the project but you wouldn't want this one middle one this is more we used one of these when we were sewing the vintage linen cosmetic cases because we did a double pouch but I don't really need that but that's what I've got right now so I'm just going to um, treat it like it's not really there and I'm going to be sewing the top of the bag onto the frame. Okay, I've taken it off of the loom and I have put it on our frame and depending on your frame like this one you sew from what was it I guess it was the outside it's just very cleverly hidden with the, the yarn on this one so it's on the outside I guess they're all on the outside so one trick and tip I will keep and I think I mentioned it before but just in case is use a pair of small scissors or your your um, hook or something to keep pushing it up under the 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 knitted fabric up in between the as you see the lip you'll have like this uh, see there's like this um, lip inside there so that's where you have to push your fabric up in there as you're sewing and having a small pair of scissors or something really helps as you're doing that so I got it all sewn in there and the way I handled, so you'll have like where the hinges are. And the way I handled this is I just went up in here. And I just did a blanket stitch. Just sort of to gather all those stitches. And the way you do that is you make a stitch. and you, So you're going to make like a loop like with your fingers. And you put your needle back in there. You bring it up through the loop. And then you go like this. And so that way it just provides an edge to sort of gather and finish those stitches that didn't get put into any of the holes in your 
case here. Go all the way across. Then I'm going to get over here. Make a couple stitches so it's secure. I got the little bag. I also thought it would be a cute idea. I had these tassels. But these little tassels, they have a darn good yarn in wherever else you might find them. And I thought it would be cute to add one to the front of this. So I'm going to come up inside. And it has a handy little loop there. I'm just going to go into the loop times and you could put all kinds of uh, whatever little uh, uh, embellishments you could put flowers Michaels has so many different things there's so things you could sew on there are things you could glue on don't be limited just to the sections where you think they're supposed to be I mean check like the jewelry finding section I find lots of things there that they're meant for jewelry but they usually have like some kind of loop or some kind of connector on the product and uh, you can just do a stitch right through that usually okay and there's our little bag so if you like like you notice I used the cameo and that was in the jewelry department that came in like strings of four and I just took a um, little needle nose pliers and I separated the things in between and I used that because I bought these for I'm making all those I keep talking about those trunks of dolls and doll clothes I've been making for to just save for future grandkids <laughs> and I'm making a black and white checked taffeta dress and I'm these are I'm sewing at the neck for like a brooch so I had a bunch of those and because they came in strings of four and I bought an extra string in case something happened to one so I had those and it looked really cute with the black and white so those are just some examples of little eyeglass cases or makeup cases that you can do like I said the different the plastic frames and the metal frames and there's all different styles of frames just look for purse frame if you are this one even has loops if you wanted to put a chain on it or some kind of handle but I made it go in my purse so just to hold like a powder and a lipstick and maybe a mascara or something it's, it's small it's not a great big makeup case it's not like a travel case it's just something from my purse and this is a, my eyeglass case that I wanted to put in my sewing so this has been a quick loom knit demonstration on how to construct these cases and I hope you use this for inspiration and these little like I said these little purse frames are all kinds of sizes and you can just do a whole lot with them just whatever your imagination might so this has been Angie for Canterbury Trails Farm thanks for joining us bye